today's video, I'm going to be giving you my top five ways you can improve your offense overnight in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, maybe you've never been here before, what my channel does is we make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos that are designed to help people get better at the game and help people improve. So if you're looking to get better at Madden, my channel, I believe, is the best place for you to do that. One of the things that I do want to encourage you to do, if you haven't already done it, is to go ahead and click subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. We post four times a day here on YouTube, different blitzes, strategies, videos like this that are con more conceptual in nature that really help you get better at the game. Uh, and again, that's my whole entire goal. So uh, if you guys are interested in getting better, I feel like my channel is doing a, a decent job at helping the community. And we also live stream every single night at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Um, or if you want to keep the most up to date on our live stream schedule, you can just check out uh, my Discord, which is in the description. All right, so five things that I think you need to do to improve your offense overnight. Now, Man 21 is an offensive base game. I'm not going to say that it's not. But the thing that I am going to say is that if you're not careful, okay, if you're not careful, you are going to struggle with throwing interceptions in this game. This game is designed, it's actually tailor made built to be a pass first kind of game. But if you're not careful and you're and, and or maybe you fall into bad habits, which I'm guilty of this, I think we all are to some degree, then what happens is you'll start to throw interceptions at a pretty high clip and you'll get frustrated and then you'll go back to running and running's not as effective as it's been in years past and you're just going to kind of spin out of control. And so I want to give you five things that you can do. The first thing that you can do to improve your offense overnight in Madden 21 is to learn route combinations that beat man-to-man -man coverage. Man-to-man -man coverage is really difficult to beat this year. Um, it's no secret that it's good. It's very, very good. If you're going to play anyone at a high level, it's much better in Mutt than it is in Regs because in Mutt you can have uh, very, very high overall players. But as you see here, I ran a he runs man to me, uh, just ran man-to-man -man on me, and I ran a motion snap slant route. That's an example of a route that beats man-to-man -man coverage. Every now and then, it won't, but by and large, it will. Um, I find this year that the routes that beat man-to-man -man that you're going to want to focus on are routes that typically go to the inside of the uh, field. Okay, so inside breaking patterns like post routes and in routes and slant routes and crossing routes. Those type of routes, to me, are going to beat man-to-man -man fairly, fairly consistently uh, here as obviously I end up throwing a nice little uh, pick six because again you know then what's going to happen is they're going to switch to zone which is what this guy did right here so um learn routes that beat man-to-man -man coverage and then also on the back end of that once you start to beat the man-to-man -man coverage one of the things that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to become very efficient at beating zone coverage because zone coverage this year while it's not the best what i would say about zone that i actually really really enjoy that it's really never been a thing in madden um, is zone this year more than it has ever done really does a good job at rewarding you when you call the right zone right there he was in a cover three defense he was able to uh, click onto his his uh, his player and able to cut off a corner route right against cover three that route combination typically should be able to beat it uh, fairly consistently but we weren't able to do it in that in that example so you need to understand that route combinations are much much more important than formations or schemes or on a given play you really want to have a good set of solid route combinations that are going to beat man-to-man -man and zone in the same play okay so you need to learn routes that beat man-to-man -man coverage and i believe you also need to learn routes that beat zone coverage but one of the biggest things i can tell you is if you're looking for those kind of routes and you don't know what they are i'm going to suggest that you run a lot of inside breaking patterns if you run inside breaking patterns those kind of patterns, at least with what I've seen early on this year, are going to work really well. The second thing that I want to tell you as far as a, a tip that you can use today that's going to help you improve your offense overnight in Madden 21 is to learn and understand and study and get good at pocket presence. Um, this is something that I've learned from Blessem 777 um, Someone that has mastered pocket presence is really, really difficult in this year's game to stop because most of the pressure that you're going to be facing this year is what I would call passive pressure. You're not going to be facing a lot of like 
lights out like crazy blitzes. You're going to be facing a lot of, and I mean a lot of passive type of, of pressure when you're in this game. Like I'm talking three down linemen and they're going to do a stunt and they're going to try to get it. Or they're going to come out and they're going to run edge threat on all on their two defensive ends and they're going to try to get you. If you can step up in the pocket in this year's game, if you can really manage the pocket well, what you're going to find is you're going to have so much more time to deliver the ball. You see right there, that's good pocket presence, step up, manage the pressure. You, They will send pressure at you. You can actually pick up blitzes just by your pocket presence. And so, you know, two things really quickly on how to improve your pocket presence. The first thing is whenever the ball is snapped, just slide to the right. You see there it's going to cancel that auto breakdown, auto dra auto um auto drop back and then what I like to do instantly is I like to slide to the right and then I literally just step right up into the pocket and kind of climb the pocket because most of the time that pocket is going to be there for you this year just with the way they designed the game the game does a decent job in my opinion of allowing you to step up in the pocket and make a consistent solid read and so as you're reading the defense you're stepping up in the pocket and then you can pass lead um, very very well and get get routes opening in the zone uh, as you see I just was able to do right there so the third step or um, I'm sorry uh, one other thing on the pocket presence is um, when you climb what you want to understand is where is the pressure coming from and then you just want to slide you see right there I'm able to avoid I, I'm able to give myself a, a significant longer amount of time just because of the sliding away from the better pressure where is the blitz coming from where the pressure schemes this year are not as sophisticated as they've ever been what you'll see here is pressure is going to oftentimes come from this this right side and we're going to be able to step away from it once we step up into the pocket so that's pocket presence 101 for you um, the third thing that I have as far as how how can you improve your offense overnight is to throw short patterns um, what I mean by that is something like a Y post here this is a very short breaking route combination and what you're going to see here is your curl routes little drag routes little hitches those kind of routes this year are very very effective this route to the tight end here out of Y post one of the best routes in the game this year um, for several different reasons but I'm just telling you guys um, if you if you understand short West Coast style of passing, that is going to make you so much more effective on the offensive side of the ball. Um, if the defense wants to take away the deep ball, you can take away the deep ball in this year's game uh, fairly consistently in my opinion. Um, but what you can't take away, I think, it, even the best defenses in the world can't take away solid spacing concepts this year. If you run spacing in this year's game, you're going to find that you're going to find a lot of success. Um, just the basic spacing concept as a nutshell, and if you just literally run curls, um, you're going to see this route combination this year. It just, op it's so open. It's so open, especially with good low ball passing, possession catch, catching. The, the curl routes, the underneath patterns to me, flat routes, little quick shoot routes to the back, those are very, very effective this year. The next tip that I have for you is when you run the ball on the offensive side of the ball, like if you're just running like a dive, a zone week, any run, what you want to learn how to do is what's called, uh, what Coach DC would call depressing the left stick. What that basically means, at least to me, is very slight very subtle movements with your left joystick, that is gonna help you. A lot of people, and I struggle with this as well, a lot of people, what they will do is they will like go full throttle on the left stick. So they're gonna like, I'm gonna crank it to the left and to the right and, and, and I'm gonna run. You see like that guy right there runs into his blockers. If you if you depress your left stick, meaning you, you move it ever so slightly, and Coach DC's channel can do a little bit more on why this is so effective, what it's going to do is it's going to open up a significant amount of running lanes for you. But the other thing that it's going to do, in my opinion, is when you don't hold turbo when you run the ball, you get better blocking. This is just something that I can't prove this, but I really believe that you're going to get better blocking. Um, learning the user mechanics in this game is so important because user control is a lot different this year. Um, it's I think it's it's okay. Um, some people are very, very upset about the user control. Um, it doesn't really do us any benefit to be upset. It, it does us benefit to adjust, 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 adjust. And so if you can understand that you don't want to hold turbo when running the ball, 
you're going to find, and I'm, I'm telling you, you are going to find through and throughout this game, running the ball is not that bad. Running the ball is actually very effective this year. If you understand, do not hold turbo as soon as you get the ball. Here you're going to depress, 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 and then you're going to find that lane and you're going to go. Now sometimes they're going to stop you, but a lot of times what I have found is to be consistent as a runner uh, in this year's game, it really is very, very important that you don't hit turbo until you're through the line of scrimmage and into the hole that you're wanting to run into. Okay, That depressing of the left stick, that subtle movement, I think it just matters so much in this year's game, um, and I just wanted to hit that as well um, in our video here. So here I do hit turbo once I see the hole, I'm able to get outside and able to, able to move the ball to the field. The last tip that I have for you is called use constraint theory plays. And what I mean by this is a, in Madden 21, a defense is going to have to do um, what, we're, what I'm finding out about this year's game. And this is just what I'm finding out. Again, you can take this as, as just my concept or, or, or whatever. This is just what I am seeing over and over again in this year's game. When um, they are on defense, one of the things that I'm finding is you are seeing that defenses are having to really overcommit, right? Really, really overcommit to stop things. Like, for example, you're going to have to go all out pressure to get pressure, or you're going to have to go... You're going to have to shape. You're going to have to change your zone drops to stop specific routes, or you're going to have to go all out coverage defense, or you know whatever, right? What, what whatever it may be. What I'm finding out about this year's game is because of that, because of the fact that you have to do all of this stuff to stop very basic spacing concepts. What I what I like to do is what's called running constraint theory plays. Constraint theory plays basically means plays that are designed to take advantage of when a defense over pursues. An example of a constraint theory play might be a slip screen. It might be a wide receiver reverse. Um, it might, I mean, there, there, it might be um, something as simple as four verticals, right? Um, any, what I am finding this year more than I've ever seen in Madden history is constraint theory plays really, really matter this year? Because defenses are, if you're gonna stop spacing, okay, if you're gonna stop spacing, you're gonna have to run what's called combo coverage. You're gonna you're gonna have to run some zone, some man. And what's gonna happen is because they're not they're not hold most defenses don't hold to the integrity of the defense. They don't hold to the defensive standard or the, the way the defense is supposed to work. Right. So, for example, a three deep three hundred zone blitz, a curl flap may only play certain types of routes, and you may have to shade coverage down or run zone drops to be able to stop something. What that then does is it it opens up. See out here. So to stop that quick flat route, I'm going to have to do a very specific thing to take that away. So because of that, defenses are going to have to over pursue. So simple, simple route combinations like a basic flood concept or a slip screen or things like that are really going to give the defense issues this year. And I'm finding that sometimes it really is effective. And you want to mix these in. You don't want this is not your whole scheme by any means. But mixing in constraint theory type of plays like slip screens or quarterback draws or wide receiver reverses or jet sweeps even like little things little little things they make a big difference in your offense so i want to encourage you to use what's called constraint theory plays um, on offense maybe it's like i said maybe it's you're in a draw maybe it's you're in a slip screen uh, from a formation right make sure it looks the same as the plays that you are running but you will find and at least I have found consistently this year that very, very basic constraint three plays like screens or like um, read options or, you know, any, any, and it could be anything. They actually matter because defenses this year, um, they really do have to kind of sell out to stop certain things that an offense is going to do.
Okay, so those are my top five tips to improve your offense overnight in Madden 21. Let me go over them one more time. Learn routes that beat man-to-man coverage or have wide receiver abilities, okay? That's really, really important. Second, focus on pocket presence, right? Cancel the drop back, step up in the pocket, man it, climb the pocket at a high level. Third thing is to throw short routes. Do not ever take your flat routes for granted. When you have, if your flat routes are open, throw them throw them because they're so important. They're so important to run consistently. If you do that, it's really, really important. When you're running the ball, do not hold turbo until you are completely through the um, through the line of scrimmage. Okay, Do not hold turbo until you're completely through the line of scrimmage. By depressing the left stick, you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck on that. It's going to really help you uh, a lot in this year's game. And then the last tip that I have for you is to run constraint theory plays like draws or quick reads or different things like that. Um, It's going to help your offense. It's going to force the defense. They're not going to be able to over pursue on you. Uh, In my opinion, it's just going to make all the difference in the world. Run the quick screens. Run the the spacing concepts. Run the underneath stuff. Uh, Again, I think focusing on short, short, short route combinations really makes a difference in this year's game. So anyways, guys, those are my top five ways that you can improve your offense overnight in Madden 21. Again, if you've never been to my channel before, my goal is here to just help you uh, get better at this game, right? This game is uh, a game that I love personally. It's one of the best games, uh, in my opinion, a long time for Madden. And so if you're wanting to get better, I just want to encourage you to not only subscribe to my channel, but we also have a community Discord. That Discord is comprised of people that are members of my YouTube channel and people that have subscribed to me. And we just sit there and we talk Madden all day long. And we get uh, just awesome concepts that they will release uh, in the in the Discord. So it's just if you really want to take your game to another level and really participate in a bigger community that can help you not just my perspective but other people's perspective as well, that Discord is a great opportunity to do that. You can join that by clicking the link in the description. We've got about uh, we've got a couple more videos coming here today on my YouTube channel. Again, I post four times a day on YouTube. So if you're catching this. You know, maybe on another day after I've posted this video, you're still going to be able to head over to my channel right now. There's probably several new videos for you to check out. So uh, anyways, guys, just want to say thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys tonight on our on our live stream.